Hello everybody. On this week's project, I'm going to show you how I made this back saw. Uh, a saw in this shape and size is typically called a dovetail saw. And it's got a 10 inch blade. This part here is about 3 inches wide. The backing I use is solid brass. It is a quarter inch by 3 quarter inches. The blade or the handle is made from a mahogany core. On the two sides I have added some basswood. The these brass screws here, or nut and screws, are just bought from my local hardware store. The saw blade came from a gin saw that I had. I think I paid something like $10 for this a couple years ago. And, well, this is the only part that I'm using onto this saw here. So, the one advantage of having a saw that has a brass backing is the weight. And the way the handle holds really helps with cutting. Uh, the teeth here I've also reprofiled to more to have a more aggressive cut than it was in the factory cuts. And you'll see later in the video how much better a new profile on the teeth helps with the cutting. So I hope you enjoy this.
this part here is quite thin. It's probably only like two millimeters thin. And just to give you a, uh, an idea of how strong mahogany is, or at least this particular piece I picked was very heavy and very dense. I'm pushing against it with my thumb. And you can see it's leaving an imprint on my thumb, but I'm not able to break it. These here are the factory cut teeth, and they look like this. These here are the, the profile I'm putting on the teeth, and they look like this. And these up here are look like this. They're much shorter than the factory set teeth, and the idea is that these would help get the saw started and these would help take aggressive cuts. In this project, I uh, decided to experiment with the finish. The shellac finish typically is very smooth, and the grippy feel of shellac probably comes from the hydrogen bonding between the wax and our hands. But I wanted some additional texture. I wanted a, a micro texture that I could feel with my hand, the increased grip. Uh, by some of the footage, and I think you can kind of tell that the surface is not smooth and that there is a micro texture. Uh, some of the details of making this saw uh, uh, I left out. Please feel free to ask any questions uh, about this saw in the comment section. Uh, I have plans to make more saws. I have a few different saws I wanted to make. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that. 
And I appreciate the time you've spent uh, watching this video, and I hope you take something away with you. And uh, thank you for watching.